All right, so here is <clears throat> the video of the house. I mean, this clearly is not showing the correct color because of the lighting and using a cell phone, but the paint does look a lot better. But I mean, I don't know what exactly, like there's little, the nail holes, which I don't think are that big of a deal, but there's just a lot of them. So, Yeah, I mean, for the amount that he was paid, I don't know what level of quality of job you were looking for, I guess is my ultimate question. But, so this type of trim stuff, is that what this next guy is gonna take care of? So, I mean, the problem is this home's very dirty at the moment from just everything being moved out and moved around the house and so on that it's hard to tell what needs paint or what's just dirty, so to speak. So, but in all honesty, this main level is not horrible. It's, it's not enough to get, to be the highest price home in the neighborhood because it's, it's just not. But I think it's definitely better than it was before anything was done. And even that's not too bad. If the rest of the home is clean, they're not even gonna notice the little paint marks, the little um, hole marks. But it's just hard to tell because this home definitely needs a thorough cleaning. And it's still missing some cabinet doors, which, and a corner piece. So there's little things like this that I think are gonna be a detriment to getting what you would if things were otherwise completed fully. But it does look better, but there's areas right here that I don't know if anyone's gonna fix up or what, what is gonna happen with that. But I think the first step that should be done is getting the home cleaned. All the garbage out, everything washed down, wiped, and so on. But ultimately, this, this main level's not bad compared to what it was previously. So I think that's a positive, a positive thing. So, I mean, if the guy today can touch up all these railings, then he should be on his way over here. It's about 2.15. If he could paint this, like paint the rail going down, paint here. And this room's not bad. I mean, in reality, it's green, which some people may not like, but in reality, it's not bad. Now, I don't know if he's gonna paint all this trim, all the doors. I know I do have the email and text message from David that I will look over and just double check. But even that's not bad, this room. I mean, if this could be cleaned off, which doesn't look like it. But this room's not bad. Although the trim was started. So if he could finish all the trim in this room, that would be awesome. Let me hit a light switch here. Once again, going into the master, once again, some cleaning, I think, would just go a long way, and I'm not sure if there was a hole, if there's a hole in this door, or what, what these white things are. I don't know if those could be removed and the door painted. I think that would be a very good choice. And just painting this room, even the same color, just a fresh coat, would be very good. I guess maybe wipe down the walls, then do a fresh coat. So a little something there. Once again, the trim was started and if it could be finished, the home would pop. Once again, I don't know if it'll get the price we're asking even with all this. Well, I think it could, it just gotta find the right buyer. If everything is painted and done, we might be able to get the price we have it at. Market will decide if it's priced correctly or not. I mean, you and I can pull comps and the comps we pulled were on homes that were in essentially flipped condition and super good condition. But I mean, the carpet should be steam cleaned. And once again, the trim, paint the trim and doors in here and get solid edges. Cause like, if you can get solid edges going along, that would be, Great. 
And there's a thorough cleaning of the tile and the tub. And I've got, and I know you have a guy set up to do this, but I do have cleaners who could come in and they're affordable. I mean, have this sanded down and cleaned up. Once again, a thorough cleaning of shower. And once again, paint here would be awesome to get that finished off. I think the ideas you guys had when you got started were great. Because you're definitely heading in the right direction. I mean, this bathroom's pretty good shape. Once again, just stuff like this, get it cleaned or repainted or something. So we have thorough cleaning of the shower. And this room's not, not too bad. Get the trim in here painted. And I perhaps have him remove this as well. Cause I don't know what parent would want their kid to have this in their room. You know, maybe that's just me. <laughs> but finish up the trim here. This room's not bad. And even these holes here, It'd be good if he could patch and paint, but then that might mean painting the entire room again, which I don't know if you want him to do. But if he's getting the trim done here, which I'd recommend, and then putting new, a new cover there, take the covers off when they paint, that's the way to do it. And then if they could paint these doors, so trimming doors would go a very long way. And I'll check my notes to see if that's what's gonna be done. And it looks like this, this trim looks good. And then get it finished going across there. Because buyers don't like seeing partially finished things. Just to be totally straightforward there. Once again, this room's not bad. Just freshening up the trim here. Doing some cleaning. Maybe tightening that down. Put another screw or nail in there to tighten that up. And once again, if it's something he's going to do, if he's going to paint the rooms, have him fill these holes and paint. Otherwise, I just wouldn't worry about it because you want the colors to at least match. Once again, the trim here looks actually pretty good. But if he's doing some trim, and this needs tightening up. So just little things like that that I think could go a long way. But up here, really just trim and doors. And the carpet being cleaned, of course. So if the trim could get done here and the carpet cleaned and the staircase painted new white paint that white, I think that would go a very long way. And then if he is painting the rooms, patching the holes and then painting. So I guess since he's not here yet, I'll head down to the basement. Once again, this room looks pretty good once it's cleaned. I think before he does any work, all the couches should be moved out. Everything should be cleaned. And the basement, this is usually the last place people go, but the basement area down here is a little bit rough. I'll show you what I mean. Is all this right here. This is the first thing they see as they walk down. And that's not good. So if he could paint the walls in the basement, remove those. The bookshelves I think are gonna have to stay and that's okay as long as he kind of paints around them, if he is doing the basement. But a coat of paint down here, carpet cleaning would go a very long way and the trim I would leave the trim down here since none of it's been painted yet I would just paint the walls take off posters and things like that and once again this room's this room is okay carpet we might consider a carpet allowance if cleaning doesn't take care of everything but a fresh coat of paint in this room would go a very long way. Well, that doesn't help. Well, maybe it does. But I would leave the trim alone down here, leave the doors alone down here, unless you're gonna do everything. But a paint, a coat of paint on the walls would be great. Once again, down here, bathroom's not bad. There's not really anything I would do in here except for cleaning. And the uh, insert's not bad here. There are some waves in the ceiling there, which I didn't notice before. We'll have to see what an inspector says on that. 
Then, once again, this room's not bad in itself, but a coat of paint. And then some cl some cleaning of the flooring and and all that. Oh, outside faucet access. I never noticed that before. That's so a coat of paint in this basement would be phenomenal. Would go a heck of a long way, very long way. And a cleaning of the floor. Once, as I mentioned, I wouldn't touch the trim or doors down here unless you're planning on doing everything. But. If anything, just paint this main room. Don't Maybe don't worry about the bedroom since some people want to paint their own bedrooms anyways. But this right here is so important to get looking good. So very important. So, yeah, a coat of paint in the main room and the hallway would be amazing. And if you don't get to the bedrooms, I don't think that's the end of the world because a lot of people are going to want to paint their bedrooms their own colors anyways. But at least this hallway and... This room, I think, really should be painted. And don't worry about the trim, unless you want to do every piece of trim in this main room, and the hallway, and maybe even the bedrooms. Then that might be worth it. So I guess I'll go take a quick look outside, since the guy is not here yet. At least, I don't know if he's here yet. Something else that might be worth it is switching out the handles, at least on the front door. My backyard looks good. I'd get rid of that, that, wheelbarrow you can keep. All that stuff I'd say keep. Keep everything there, get rid of the, heck, I even leave the hose. But all the other stuff should be picked up. And yeah, so that's really it. Backyard's not bad. Back of the home's not bad. Just these extra little odds and ends. Wheelbarrow, probably keep because people always have use for that. Maybe yard tool, keep. But this chair should probably go. That chair should probably go. The partial rake should go. Other than that, it's not bad back here. But a major recommendation I have is replacing these. Because the first impression is pretty important when you come into a home. And I'm wondering where that guy is. <laughs> that maybe that's him across the street. All right, well, that's it.